Hello everyone and welcome back. It is your old buddy Hat Hot here for, with Gnomeland Entertainment. Back for more of the Path of the Dwarf. Let's finish this chapter on King's Quest because it's dragging on. Melanice. Don't interrupt me. Um, it's dragging on a little more than I want it to. Team like, I, Sabrine, assemble. like I said last uh, episode, this is not my favorite chapter. Oh my god. Not my favorite. I'm not a fan of abstract art. I'm pretty sure I could sculpt that. So I, uh, yeah, I just want to get this done and move on to the last one, because the last chapter is pretty good. Nice. I hope I made it in time. Rosella? Bellanice? Where are you? My battery is low. Might have to do a little bit of streaming connected. Wow. Let me plug this in so it doesn't die. Ugh. getting closer, but the nose still isn't right. Hello there. Welcome to my gallery. V? You're mistaken. My name is Isabella. I'm not sure I agree. Well, I sign all my work that way, so you will address me as such. Noted. And you are. Graham. King Graham, the brave. Don't you remember? No. Sorry. It doesn't ring a bell. But we had an adventure in Tanalore. You saved me from that quicksand? Oh, the Hobblepots. You remember the Hobblepots, right? I, I rescued you from that... this... tower? I assure you that wasn't me. And I recommend dropping the subject immediately. My apologies. It's been a while since I've had a visitor. Did you enjoy my puzzles? I did. I always have. And the art? Where did you learn to sculpt? Oh, a friend taught me. Ages ago. I see. And what brings you to my ice palace? I was told that if I made it to the center of the labyrinth, my family would be here waiting for me. Do you know where they are? Oh, the Sphinx must be playing a game with you. I love my best friend, but she can be quite silly. What? Did you think those puzzles were designed to keep people out of this tower? <laughs> I created this labyrinth to keep people in. I don't like it when my friends run away. I had no idea you were holed up here. We would have come here sooner. Oh, it's quite all right. The Sphinx was there for me when all my other friends moved on. She gave me this crown and dubbed me queen. Now I hold this tower. Where did you take Rosella and Valenice? Valenice? Now that's a name that sounds familiar. She's here, you say? No, no, no. That, that, that's not what well, I... Well, I'm sorry I haven't seen them. We'll have to file a complaint with the Sphinx. Oh, I've got a few choice words for that Sphinx. She's back this way, right? Where are you going? I told you no one ever leaves, right? <gasps> Friends, escort our new addition to the carving room. Let me go! I demand you release me! Some vacation this turned out to be. Squinted, it almost looked like an avocado. Ah. 
I didn't want to know where all those ice blocks came from. This carving room held some pretty dark secrets. I could be remembering this wrong, but I couldn't see down here from the top level. Another Ice Palace curiosity, I guess. I was cold, upset, and didn't see any way forward. Then things got worse. Excellent work. You, my friend, are a natural. Where's my father? Oh, Mr. Majesty, you've beat him here by a mile. He's trapped in a puzzle and can't figure out the solution. Alexander! Stop! It's a trap! Alexander! That's great work, Gwydion. Thanks. It's actually been a while since I've been called that. I kind of miss it. That name does suit you. Now, just a few more puzzles and you will solve the labyrinth. Your family is anxiously waiting for you at the top of that tower. No! Leave him out of this! Hmm... I might need a hint on this one. Oh, thank the Shining Stars, he's no good at puzzles. That should do it. Okay. That was actually impressive. Oh, Gwydion, I just wish your father could be here to celebrate your win. Pity that he only appreciates talents that are exactly like his own. I, however, love watching your clever magic and encourage you to use it on this last puzzle. That's not true! It's never been true. How can I prove it to you? There was no way I was going to lose my son again. I was wrong for expecting him to carry out my legacy. I needed to show him that I loved him for who he is and who he wanted to become. If only I could just snap and share the unconditional love burning inside my heart. Wait. Perhaps I could. I needed to snap like I'd never snapped before. I needed to get fired up. Come on. Fireball. Ah! Dad? Was that you? The flames had cleared up the ice spell. Well, that was hardly on my mind at that moment. Son, I love you just the way you are. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I were you. I could say the same for you. <laughs> Do you think your tiny human arrow will pierce my skin? Oh, it's not your hide I'm aiming for. Well then. Take your move. <laughs> Morons! Tiny arrows will never defeat the divine intellect of the Sphinx. I thought you were a man of the mind, Graham. Stop toying with the Sphinx. Where are Rosella and Valenice? Trust me, the games are done and my playtime is over. The Ice Queen will deal with your family now. Thanks for the entertainment. Hmm. Did you find anything particularly strange about that overgrown kitty? You mean besides the fact that it talks? thinks itself pretty clever and is incredibly manipulative. Mm-hmm. Manny! I think that furball was sipping from this pile of Cosmo lotion. It would appear so. It would be irresponsible for us to leave this pile of potions here like this. I think you need to set it ablaze. Are you sure? 
You keep doing you, Alexander. You had to make this cheesy. We have to find the girls before the Ice Queen does. Find who? Take the Shining Stars, you're alive. I could say the same for you. <laughs> the Sphinx told us that you were both trapped at the top of that tower. Oh, did he now? Don't you mean she? Nope. The Sphinx is Manny. <sighs> Figures. Oh, and the Ice Queen. Yes, I suspected as much. All the puzzles are the essence of V. I knew for certain when I found this. We need to get out of here before we all get iced. I am not leaving without V. The only way out is back through the labyrinth. <laughs> Let's solve it together this time. On the way out of that labyrinth, we decided to pair up based on who would best be able to solve each room. Well, this looks impossible and dangerous. I hope we make it out alive. Nonsense. You're just saying that because no one ever had. Only I could see both of the lines. After being tormented about Alexander for 18 years, it was about time I gave my daughter the full attention she deserved. Up! Got it! Yep! You have to watch what I'm doing! Dad! Remember that one time we set up that Yeti on a blind date? Yes! What about it? Oh! Nothing! I, I just like to remember it! In case anybody's curious, yes, I do still have some appetizer stashed in one of my pockets. I wish I had my spiky sword of fire. Why didn't you hand down the crown to Aunt Rosella? She was always off on her own adventures with Edgar. Then she had Gart. And she was much more interested in training him to be king. Looks like V had designed us into a puzzle death trap. Choose our strategy. I'll go down to the board, but you better keep me safe. Always. The Ice Guards were not highly skilled wits players like Manny. They only moved side to side. And they never moved shields. I needed to navigate Nice to the tile with a door to win. Failure would not be good for our marriage. You're going to have to guide me. I can't see the whole board. Did you remember to send that thank you letter to my sister? I did. This is my incredulous face. I remembered you told me. I just didn't send it. You have a photographic memory. Why does this keep happening? I don't remember chores. Now's as good a time as any to tell you this. Spill it. Your Cedric the Owl mug didn't fall off the shelf. I threw it away. What? I love that mug. Well, it had mold in it. That enhanced the flavor.
find a sled for four when we're out of here? How about a snowball war? Can we throw pies at yetis? What about a game of tic-tac-snow? Have you ever tried snowflake salsa? I have, and it's tasty. Want to build majestic, majestic snow, snow corns? <laughs> oh, I love our little inside jokes. Always seek... Uh, sorry, not the appropriate time. Are you trying to trick me? It. We made it! Not quite. Oh, would you kindly? A 
Of course, friend. Everybody freeze! <gasps> oh, bravo, yes. I command you to release us now, Sphinx. All of us. Our bonds are thicker than this brittle ice. Um, dear, I think you meant release us, Mananan. No, that's only what his slaves call him. Let us go, Manny. Your cover's blown. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Your new family figured out my greatest puzzle. <laughs> <coughs> it took you long enough, morons. That accent is not the easiest on the vocal cords. Ugh. And you, Gwydion. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I don't know what I was expecting. Disappointments run in your bloodline. You were supposed to restore Daventry from the cesspit <coughs> it's become. What were you thinking? Your little cat spell was just a minor setback. You should have known. I have plenty of other slate friends with magical abilities. I raised you better than this. Now, your reckless behavior leaves me no other option but to freeze out you and your entire lineage. It's time to start a new legacy. Enough, Manny. Your abuse ends now. You took away my life, my joy, and my worth. And when I left, I chose not to be your slave anymore, to move on and find my own happiness, my own life. Now I know that destroying you won't bring back my childhood. But if it will save another innocent child, then I will melt the fur right off your face! Do not talk to my best friend that way! Good thing I'm ambidextrous. No, you might melt me! I hate that name! B, I know my friend is in there. Stop this! We can fight this coal together! Don't listen. <coughs> Don't listen to her. She's trying to manipulate you, my darling. She's not your friend. Friends don't abandon each other. Did I ever leave you? V, if I knew what was happening to you, I would have rushed to be by your side. I just got so busy with the castle and the kids Must and the... be nice to have such things to worry about. <gasps> Mom, should I blast her? Stay calm, Alexander. Princess B from Eastern Kalima, I need you to remember. Don't fall for her tricks. Your Majesty, listen to me. Your real friend. The one who gave you your friendship crown. Should I have given it to someone else? I could always crown another queen, you know. Denise, what have I done? All is forgiven. Come here. <laughs> Blast him, Alexander! Burn his hide! No, Mom. I've got a better idea. Yeah, this again? Dad, guide my shot! Take your best shot, Gwydion. My name is Alexander. Looks like you missed the mark. Again. Actually, that shot was just feline. Oh, how clever. A pup. I don't feel very well. Oh, I thought you liked the taste of cat cookies. No. What did you... Wait for it. Curse you! 
Imbeciles! This is hardly the end of this. And from meow on... <coughs> Sarge, not again. Oh, please continue. <coughs> meow, hold on one second. <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> ah, forget it. Meow, you'll need to deal with this. We were trapped in the very same room as the last time. This time I figured Alexander could just blast us out. Blast us out? But wouldn't that ruin the integrity of the puzzle? No, Dad. Let's beat this straight up. My son was finally taking to these puzzles, and I couldn't have a prouder papa. <clears throat> All right, so evidently when I thought I was turning my mic off to um, have a sip of my tea, uh, I was actually turning it on. So if you heard me slurping tea, my apologies. Ah, uh, all right. Let's go on about this. Hey, give me that. Looks like I found a clue. Bop. sign doesn't need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. The sign read, remove four matchsticks and you will see the answer lies in triangles of three. Stop commenting on everything. It might give away the puzzle. I wasn't about to pull that switch again. All right, so one, four, six. Come over here, and I'm pretty sure this is it right here. was inside was a sequence of colors. Guys, I think I found something! Put all the clues on the table. <laughs> I knew I was missing something. This must be the order to play the notes. I was hoping the right tune would summon a peckacorn. Uh, keep playing it. Dad, check this out. I got it. Hmm. Well, I put the puzzle together. It's a nice picture, but I don't see how it's a clue. There was an extra piece, though. Not sure what that has to do with anything. I am so proud of you, son. Why, thank you. <sighs> it seems to be missing a piece. Grandpa.
Hmm. We needed to crack the code to escape the room. The sign doesn't need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. Okay, um... So, horseshoe... Hourglass... If anyone finds any puzzle pieces, bring them to me! Grandpa, do you need a nap? That won't help. Say those two are actually connected. Clue. Another clue. Uh. Did someone help me? I've almost puzzled something out. Alright, so I think it's going to be L O. What you want to bet it is V E because it's the answer to everything. But I gotta figure out what's going on with uh this over here. Remind me later to tell you a funny story about a black cat and some stairs. Distracting me. Try that somewhere else. Don't a little star. So yeah, it's L O V E. Let's do this. Well, 
She's in a better spot now, love. Ah, oh, let's go home. It's easy to love someone at their best, when they do what you want them to. But the greatest puzzle our family ever solved was figuring out how to love each other at our worst. And even when we act cold to each other, we've always found ways to warm each other up. Could you scrape together another potion out of this? Perhaps with a few rare and miraculous ingredients, but it will take a very long time. I'll need to work under a new alias. King Graham is going to be hot on our tail. What did you have in mind, brother? I think it's time I shed my slave name. What do you think about the name, Mordak? kitchen for you. What's this? Read it. Addendum 48677. I know this one. The King of Daventry may choose any worthy male to succeed the throne. Not that. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a proposed amendment. The above statement shall be modified to read, the King of Davendry may choose any worthy person to succeed them. I'm so sorry. I had no idea about the change. I know how hard you worked to inherit the throne. That's not why I'm upset. Keep reading. Dearest officials, I'm writing to waive the 30-day holding period usually required for amendments of this nature. The changes outlined on this document must be enacted immediately due to my imminent death. Imminent? What? You told me he had a few good years left. We all thought he did. But, but now the doctors say he could go at any time. Any time? <laughs> I'm not ready to lose him. <laughs> it's okay, Gert. I'm not ready either. Oh, snap! Chapter 4! In the books! Yep. 
So, it's all out in the open now. Graham's gonna die soon. But when will it be? Why? What's gonna happen on the thrilling conclusion of King's Quest? We'll find out next time, which is not gonna be that far off, because I'm streaming like mad today. So, alright, uh, yeah, end of chapter 4. Roll on credits for a little bit for Roberta, Ken, John, and our families. Awesome. Good job, the odd gentleman, and all, all of y'all. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Um, if you like what you saw, guys, be sure to subscribe to me here on Twitch. You can also pop over to the YouTube channel, which is where this will be saved for posterity. Uh, if you like all of our stuff over there, because we got all of my Let's Plays, all of Nelson's Let's Plays, all of the Gnomeland Entertainment stuff is over there. Just go on over to YouTube and search Gnomeland Entertainment. It'll pop right up. Um, yeah. It's good. We'll find out what's going on with Graham here in just a little while on the next episode. So, yeah, until next time, guys, this has been your old buddy Hat Hodge for Gnomeland Entertainment. Until next time, may your beards be long and your drinks be endless. Later!